This could be a glimpse of the future. A post Sandy world, this team is putting the finishing touches on its vision. It's part of different concepts from the region to Sandy proof parts of the tri state. Each needs community support for a federal competition that will award money to some of the teams. This is critical because, I mean, the Meadowlands came out as, first of all, it was hit very bad by Sandy. Alexander De Hogue and Christian Coraman explain their rebuild by design concept, including flood control specifically geared for the Meadowlands area that will go before the community tonight. We want to engage the public from the very beginning of the process and make sure that we build an alliance. For this team, it's not just about protecting the area from another storm, but improving the quality of life in the area. By uh, offering a solution for flooding, it also comes with new fishable and swimmable water. So the Meadowlands all of a sudden becomes a regional urban wildlife park. When it comes to keeping safe from future storms, there's a variety of ideas, from concepts about what the future holds for the tri-state to a letter questioning just who holds the future for the residents of New York City. We're asking the governor to please come in and give us some relief. Congressman Michael Grimm sent this letter to Governor Cuomo asking the state take control of the acquisition for redevelopment program from Mayor de Blasio. Since he doesn't seem to be committed to this program, which I think is absolutely essential, I'm asking the governor, who's already had a good track record of getting money out the door, of navigating the federal system, take over this plan. In the letter, Grimm says, quote, giving the state full operational control of acquisitions is perhaps the most sensible option, considering that the program is already supported by state funds. We reached out to Governor Cuomo's office as well as Mayor de Blasio's office in regards to the letter from Congressman Grimm. So far, no comment from either of them. In Secaucus, I'm Mark Santia, News 4 New York.